Dr. Light is a fictional superheroine appearing in comic books published by DC Comics. Kimio Hoshi is a distinct character from the DC villain of the same name. She has, however, crossed paths with the villainous Dr. Light on several occasions. Topic. Publication history Dr. Light first appeared in Crisis on Infinite Earths No. 4 and was created by Marv Wolfman and George Perez. Topic. Fictional character biography Kimio Tazu Hoshi, a brilliant but overly driven scientist, was the supervising astronomer at an observatory in Japan, overseeing a group of astronomers charting the unnatural effects of the crisis on infinite Earths. She is also a medical doctor, as shown in Justice League Annual No. 3 1989, and Justice League America No. 55 October 1991. As the crisis continued, Hoshi's fascination with the phenomenon grew into an obsession while the men grew concerned for their safety. Disgusted by their mounting fear, Hoshi arrogantly insulted them and ordered an evacuation, leaving her to study the crisis alone through her telescope. Meanwhile, the Monitor, a being linked with all positive matter, senses his enemy, the Anti-Monitor, absorbing yet another positive matter Earth with his antimatter cloud. In order to tip the scales for the heroes of the positive universe, the Monitor activates one last warrior. He sends a devastating beam of energy from the star Vega to Earth, which strikes the observing Hoshi, leaving massive destruction in its wake. Granted the power of photonics and the name Dr. Light, Hoshi is assigned by the Monitor to guard one of the vibrational forks needed to save the Earth. Teen Titans member Starfire and Outsiders member Halo set out to destroy the machine. Since Dr. Light can't speak to them in English, she resorts to blasting them away from the machine. Superman is the first to communicate with her, given his knowledge of most of Earth's languages. Once the Earth's heroes and villains are brought aboard the Monitor's satellite, the Japanese-speaking katana takes over as Kimio's translator. Dr. Light, granted the ability to understand English, accompanies several heroes to the anti-matter universe to confront the anti-monitor. She and Superman soon discover the machines that the villain has deployed to destroy the remaining Earths. The anti-monitor ambushes the Man of Steel. Dr. Light defends Superman as best she can. Supergirl arrives, and sacrifices her life, allowing Dr. Light to carry the unconscious Superman to safety. Seeing Supergirl's sacrifice makes Dr. Light realize how selfish she has been, and she resolves to change. When Harbinger summons her to fight in the final battle, Dr. Light is ready. As the other heroes barrage the Anti-Monitor, she absorbs the energy of a gigantic star that he is using as a power source. Scoring the first fall of the Anti-Monitor during that battle, she blasts a gaping hole through him. In the post-crisis continuity, Supergirl was written out of existence, so it is explained that Dr. Light was inspired by the other heroes. She is potentially one of the most powerful superheroines in the DC Universe, but she has not tapped into the heightened levels of power she used during the crisis. Although few remember those events, Dr. Light is one of the few who do, seeing as how she once mentioned in Showcase 96 No. 9 October 1996 that she's faced anti-matter gods. Dr. Light has joined the Justice League a few times over the years, most notably as a member of Justice League Europe during the latter half of its incarnation. She also joined an incarnation of the Doom Patrol for a period of time. During her time on the Justice League Europe, she believed that her anti-social attitude during the crisis was due to the food she regularly ate, after Power Girl is diagnosed with a similar condition. However, it is revealed that her behavior in crisis was, in fact, her genuine behavior. 
While a member of the Justice League, Dr. Light formed significant friendships with The Flash Wally West and Power Girl. There is a protracted period of animosity with the member of the Global Guardians known as Rising Sun. His romantic endeavors win out and the two enter into a relationship. Topic. Infinite Crisis and After In Green Arrow Vol. 3, No. 54 November 2005, following his recovery from the mind wipe he suffered at the hands of the Justice League, Arthur Light, the villainous male Dr. Light attacked Dr. Hoshi and drained her of her powers. It appeared that her depowerment was temporary. In Infinite Crisis No. 5, February 2006, she used her powers to aid in the evacuation of Tokyo, Japan. In that same issue she was warned by Bart Allen, in the costume of the Silver Age Flash, of the escape of an enraged Superboy Prime. She was later seen in Infinite Crisis No. 7 April 2006, battling the evil Dr. Light. A flashback in Action Comics No. 838 June 2006, reveals that Dr. Light and the Ray, heroes possessing solar-based powers, took part in an unsuccessful attempt to re-activate Superman's powers. Topic. One year later and 52 However, an article discussing the destruction of Star City and, by extension, Kimio's depowerment appeared at the 52 website, which is designed to complement the weekly comic series. The article places a date on the city's destruction, which was depicted in the final two pre-OYL Green, Arrow arcs, specifying that the event took place on May 15. Problematically, this dating places the story after the events depicted in Infinite Crisis. Given this dating, Cameo's depowerment took place during the events of 52 Week 2 which, given Cameo and Green Arrow's appearances at the end of 52 Week 1, would appear to make sense, although it in turn makes nonsense of information contained in Green Arrow Vol. 3, No. 54, where it is revealed that Cameo has not used her powers for two years. The story arc also concludes with Green Arrow experiencing a strange multiplying effect that places the story during Infinite Crisis, not two weeks after the event's conclusion. Several other characters in the DCU experienced this effect in the issue of their titles that immediately preceded the OYL jump. Kimio Hoshi appeared in costume in 52 Week 35, alongside various other heroes. All are assisting the injured victims of Lex Luthor, who had caused a reign of Superman by deactivating their powers. She is also shown in 52 Week 50, in the climactic battle of World War III. Dr. Light appears in World War III, United We Stand, the fourth issue of the World War III miniseries that coincided with 52 Week 50. She is one of the first wave of heroes who confront and are taken down by Black Adam. He grasps her neck with such force that she instantly blacks out, he throws her aside. Jeff Johns has revealed on his message board that he is working on storylines involving Dr. Light. Oracle invites Cameo to join the Birds of Prey, issue number 100, but she was not selected to take part in the first mission. She does, however, appear in Birds of Prey No. 113, January 2008, assisting Oracle by scanning the electromagnetic spectrum for any evidence that might lead her to the parties responsible for an influx of high-tech weaponry being smuggled into Metropolis. She is, however, unable to locate any such evidence. Dr. Light is only occasionally active in the superhero community because she is a single mother with two children, Amako, her daughter, and Yasu, her son. Gail Simone confirmed in a chat on ComicBlock.com that Cameo's children have not been retconned out of existence by the recent changes to DC continuity that resulted from the transformation of the post-crisis Earth into New Earth during Infinite Crisis. Dr. Light works in STAR. 
Labs and has an interior monologue about the erratic fluctuations in her powers that lead to her retirement from superheroing. Upon returning home from work, she is ambushed by the Dakota-based super team The Shadow Cabinet. After briefly talking with the heroes, she becomes enraged and attacks them after coming to believe they have harmed her children, only to be quickly neutralized and kidnapped by the team. However, this is later revealed to have been orchestrated by Superman and Icon, as a way for both Shadow Cabinet and the League to gain information on each other. Hardware uses the candle that was once Arthur Light Arthur having been recently killed by the Spectre to restore Kimio's powers, allowing her to quickly defeat a powered-up Shadow Thief and his master, a restored and more powerful Starbreaker. Kimio has been confirmed to be a member of the newest incarnation of the Justice League. In the Blackest Night crossover, Kimio and the remaining members of the League arrive at the Hall of Justice in order to find Firestorm after hearing of the Black Lantern attacks taking place across the globe. Upon entering the Hall, Kimio senses the presence of her villainous counterpart, and separates from the group, believing this Black Lantern is hers alone to face. However, Kimio soon finds herself at the mercy of the Black Lantern Arthur Light. Although initially her powers seem to be ineffectual against the Black Lantern light, when he threatens the lives of her children, Kimio manages to generate a light strong enough to destroy him and his Black Ring. She then proceeds to do the same to the Black Lantern versions of former JLA members Steel and Vibe, before passing out. In the aftermath of the ordeal, Vixen tells Kimio that she is taking a leave of absence from the team in order to recover from her injuries. With Red Tornado destroyed, Jon Stewart temporarily offworld, and Firestorm unable to return to the team, Kimmy is left with no members for the JLA. Luckily, she is approached by Donna Troy, who joins the team alongside her friends Cyborg, Dick Grayson, and Starfire. With the costume given to her by hardware destroyed, Kimio designs a new one, and then travels to Metropolis in order to recruit Mon El and the Guardian. Kimio briefly appears during the War of the Supermen, where she and the rest of the JLA attempt to repel General Zod's invasion forces. After just three issues together, the new JLA team loses most of its members, with Kimio temporarily leaving the team in order to be with her children. Back in Metropolis, Kimio helps Supergirl rescue her friend Lana Lang after her body is possessed by the Insect Queen. A short time later, Kimio and Gangbuster investigate an object that crashes into a metropolis park and leaves a massive crystallized crater in its center. While searching the crater, the two heroes discover a bizarro-like creature that resembles Supergirl. Before Kimio can call for help, the creature lashes out and attacks her. The Bizarro Supergirl takes Kimio and her associates hostage, but is ultimately defeated in battle by the real Supergirl. It is revealed that the Bizarro Supergirl is a refugee from the cube-shaped Bizarro world, and was sent to Earth by her cousin after their planet was attacked by a being known as the Godship. Kimio attempts to take the Bizarro Supergirl to Star. Labs, only to be knocked unconscious by Supergirl, who then absconds with her doppelganger and her ship, hoping to stop the godship and save Bizarro World. Despite resigning from active duty, Dr. Light appears as one of the numerous heroes assembled at Washington, D.C. in order to break an energy dome trapping the Justice League and the Crime Syndicate of America within the city, as well as a member of the JLA's reserve roster during the team's battle against Eclipso. She also assists the League as well as several other teams during a battle against the Secret Six, where she is gunned down by Deadshot. Topic: The New 52. Kimio has not yet appeared as Dr. Light in The New 52, a 2011 reboot of the DC Comics universe, though it is suggested she is the wife referred to by Arthur Light during the Trinity War storyline. <laughs> Powers and abilities 
Exposure to energy from the star Vega granted Dr. Light photokinesis, control over all forms of light sources, without relying on equipment. She can absorb all forms of illumination as energy, which allowed her to survive Starbreaker's attack, as well as absorb the energy of the sun to attack the anti-monitor. She can project energy, allowing her to shoot destructive laser beams and other blasts of destructive energy, blind her opponents with blinding flashes of light capable of dispersing Shadow Thief's shadow constructs, and create protective barriers. She can focus photons into hard light, a fictional form of energy which acts like a solid object. She can refract light waves to create holographic images. She can turn into light, rendering her invisible to the naked eye. Her abilities also allow her to disperse radiation and holographic illusions, scan in C, the electromagnetic spectrum, track ionized molecules, and convert her body to near light to minimize her mass and escape gravitational pull. She can sense the light around her, which she describes as a sixth sense allowing her to know when somebody enters the room. She can ride light waves in order to fly, capable of reaching the speed of light, and outrunning the Superman of Earth-1. She has used her powers to generate sunlight from a yellow sun to heal injured Kryptonians and Daxamites. Her light abilities appear to have granted her enhanced durability, as she has survived attacks that have knocked out Power Girl and other enhanced metahumans. She can also teleport, from Earth to the Watchtower. Outside of her light-based abilities, she is also a brilliant scientific mind. In early appearances, she considered herself a scientist foremost and superhero second. She is a prominent astronomer, the world's foremost authority on light technology. She even ran STAR. Labs for a time. On several occasions, she has also displayed knowledge of medicine. Conversations with Batman have also revealed knowledge of Asian martial arts, if not the ability to use it effectively in combat. Her primary weakness is that she requires a light source to fuel her powers, and being placed in an area of absolute darkness severely weakens her abilities. She can, however, store energy for such occasions. Her other weakness is that she's afraid of the dark. On occasions when she has been surrounded by unnatural darkness, however, Kimio has been able to use logic to overcome her fear and win the day. Topic. Other versions Topic. JLA, the 99 Dr. Light appears as a major character and member of the Justice League in the JLA, the 99 limited series, which takes place in an alternate continuity where the characters of the DC Universe and Teshkiel comics coexist on the same world. Along with Vixen, Dr. Light is touted as an example of the racial and cultural diversity that the League encompasses. Topic. Teen Titans animated series tie-in comics The Kimio Hoshi version of Dr. Light made a cameo in the tie-in comic to the Teen Titans animated series. In an alternate universe, she serves as the heroic counterpart to Titan's villain Dr. Light and is allied with the Brotherhood of Justice to stop the Teen Tyrants. Topic. Flashpoint In the alternate timeline of the Flashpoint event, Dr. Kimio Hoshi is a member of the HIVE Council. She voted against using nuclear weapons to end the war in Western Europe between Aquaman and Wonder Woman. Topic. DC bombshells In an alternate history version of World War II, Kimio Hoshi is the chief scientist for Amanda Waller's bombshells project. She acts as one of Kate Kane's handlers. 
In addition, she has powers similar to her mainstream counterparts and is in a romantic relationship with Big Barda. Topic: In other media. Topic: Television. Dr. Light appears in the animated series Justice League Unlimited. She has speaking roles in the episodes, Epilogue, and The Great Brain Robbery, and is voiced by Lauren Tom. In Epilogue, she and other teammates are seen in a flashback. In the flashback, after defeating Ace's Royal Flush Gang, Amanda Waller alerted the team that Ace was going to have a psychic backlash which would have killed everyone in range of her power, which, at first, Light had disbelieved. In The Great Brain Robbery, Light, Steel and Ice were sent to stop Lex Luthor's group of villains from pulling off a robbery. Light used her power to find them, but Dr. Polaris used his power to throw steel onto Light, incapacitating them both temporarily. Dr. Light appears in Season 2 of The Flash, portrayed by Melise Zhao. Rather than being Kimio Hoshi, this version of the character is the Earth 2 version of Linda Park, a metahuman who uses her powers of manipulating light waves to commit robberies. Light is sent to Earth-1 by Zoom to kill the Flash. While the Flash attempts to reason with her on Jay Garrick's advice, he causes her to run off upon recognizing her as Linda. In response, Light blinds the Flash and attempts to kill her Earth-1 counterpart to take her place and hide from Zoom. But the attempt fails with Light accidentally killing Earth-1 Linda's boss, later attempting to leave Central City before being subdued by the Flash using a speed mirage. Linda is then brought to STAR Labs for a plan to use her to lure Zoom and stop him, only for her to escape by taking off her clothes and rendering herself invisible, forcing the team to ask Earth-1 Linda to pose as her counterpart as part of a plan to trap Zoom. Dr. Light appears in Justice League Action. She appears in Party Animal as a guest to Green Arrow's Christmas party but doesn't have any lines. <laughs> Topic. Film An alternate universe version of Kimio Hoshi appeared in the animated film Justice League, Gods and Monsters, voiced by Lauren Tom. She was part of Lex Luthor's Project Fair Play, a weapons program contingency to destroy the Justice League if necessary. Hoshi and the other scientists involved consisting of Will Magnus, John Henry Irons, Michael Holt, Karen Beecher, Pat Duggan, Emil Hamilton, Thomas Morrow, and Stephen Shin later met at Beecher's house and are later killed by the Metal Men where Hoshi was incinerated by the superdroid. Will Magnus survived as he secretly orchestrated the attack on his fellow scientists. In DC Super Hero Girls, Hero of the Year, Light is a background character in the film where she has no speaking lines. <laughs> Topic. Web series Dr. Light appears in DC Super Hero Girls. She is a background student at Super Hero High. Topic. Video games Dr. Light appears in DC Universe Online, 